Former DA Western Cape Legislature Speaker Masizolem Ngasela is out to build a new political home. Masizolem Ngasela was kicked out of the Democratic Alliance, you'll remember, for misconduct relating to travel and entertainment allowance claims. Masela claims prominent Democratic Alliance members are set to defect to his party. Masela, joining me now for a discussion on this, Mr. Masela, thank you very much for your patience. Let's begin with um, why you have decided that you are going to be launching a new political outfit. Many people are going to say, yo, there's so many in South Africa. Do we really need a new political party? Uh, is that something that's necessary, you think? Uh, thank you very much and thanks to the viewers at home. It's a beautiful day in our beautiful country. The only thing that's not beautiful is more and more people are at home without jobs. Mm. They are scared to walk in their streets. They are, they are scared to live in their homes uh, because of, crim of crime in this country. Mm. Now, we must accept fully that there is a number of people, millions of them, who feel that this democracy does not work for them. There is millions of our people who are not participating in elections. There are those who have given up in voting. There is also millions of our young people who don't understand, who have no meaning to what justice and what uh, democracy means for them. Mm. So we are the only organization that exists that drives an agenda of social justice in South Africa. And that is why it is important that a space for an organization like ours, which is about to be launched on the 15th of July in Cape Town, that it is created, and hence we have done so, and boldly to say that all South Africans who believe in the change that we need to see in South Africa, this is their home, and they are responding very well. Mr. Marcel, Mr. Marcel, at the risk of uh, allowing you to campaign on my platform, it's not going yes. to happen that, I can tell you. <laughs> Sorry, let's, try that. <laughs> let's, 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 let's deal with what is claimed here, and that is that you are sitting in wait as you launch this political entity. You are sitting in yes. wait to welcome those that are going to be defecting from the Democratic Alliance. Are you able to give us names this morning? Clearly, it's exciting times in... In, in many provinces, I've, I've received calls from individuals who have made an expression. I've met some of them mm. uh, with the intention to join the organization. They are waiting for the launch. Um, they want the change that which we need to see in South Africa. Names. Uh, and Marcel. that is, I would not be giving you the names fully for fear of them being victimized at this stage. But of course, just to respect my engagement with them, which I have indicated that I will not reveal their identity until such time that they are ready to do so. Can, can I be the one then to mention at least one name? There's one party leader or one soon-to-be former party leader, I suppose, in the Eastern Cape, Ngabapanga. Is he someone that you have made contact with? Let's just start there. Yes, Naba and I have a very cordial relationship, and I did not make contact with him uh, in this current environment because we wanted to allow him space to deal with the matter that is ensuing. And let's give the viewers a sense of the matter that is ensuing. What do you understand yes. is happening? You know, the, 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 the gist of what has occurred insofar as the frustration among many South Africans who have aligned themselves with the DA is not something that is unique to NABA. It's either the lack of appreciation of the contribution uh, of people like himself and others who may have given everything to serve the people of our country through the DA as a platform. Mm -hmm. uh, so what he may have claimed in his uh, post, which landed him in the hot waters that we see himself in, it is something that he may have a personal experience in which he has uh, articulated. And so that becomes a very difficult uh, something for people mm -hmm. uh, to go through that in an environment where we live in a South Africa of all people, mm. where we need to ensure that the rights of persons are protected in a non-racial South Africa. Let me do in this. In a non-sexist 
and Democratic South Africa. So I think uh, just like many of those who have contacted me, they do feel that they are not welcome in the Democratic Alliance and that the values of the DA have no longer uh, been the same as the values that they believed that it stood for. Yeah. And that is the same thing, for instance, where myself and many others that are following me are feeling the same way those who are in the DA. Because remember, the new formation is not only the people who come from the DA, it's, it's faith-based leaders across the country, it's civil society organizations, um, former politicians, and of course, political activists. Well, we are going to have to see, we're going to have to see those, Mr. Masela, as and when yes. your entity is formed. For now, yes. I want to focus the attention on the claims that are said to have been made by Mr. Banga, and part of which is that he accuses Helen Zille of being a racist, and second of all, that she says, rather he says, she is working with the ANC to destroy black leaders in the Democratic Alliance. Do you believe that indeed? Are you, Abby, are you happy to back up those claims by Nababanga that indeed this is the persona of Helen Zille? Let me tell you about Helen Zille. She's not one of the best of friends for me. And I think it's public knowledge, um, hence I... I am speaking openly about it. Helen Zille is a denialist. She denies that there was apartheid in this country. She denies that there was colonialism in South Africa. In the many utterances that she's made, she has been a denialist of inequality in this country. And that when Ngaba makes that claim, it may be something else that he claims uh, to say that she is a racist. I call her a denialist who is a, a, a denialist of note. If, imagine somebody denying that there was a, there was a violence um, and crime and atrocity committed against the black majority of our country, when everybody who lived in this country who's not dreaming about what happened, mm -hmm. understand that people of color have been victims of a white-only minority government in South Africa. Even white people understand that. But we've got a leader of a party that wants to govern this country one day, behaves as if she just landed here from the planet moon. And that is the serious problem that frustrates people like Naba Panga, who then resort to the statement that he made. Helen Zille is a denialist of note, and I make that statement based on when she said black people from the Eastern Cape are not welcome to come to the Western Cape and study here. She said they are refugees here. And she said that apartheid was better, and that she said uh, colonialism was better in her tweet. That was widely circulated. Yeah. And those are some of the challenges that you must accept that about an individual like her, who does not appreciate the, the kind of pain and suffering well, that the majority of our people in this country have gone through. Here is a and final now question. now we are building a South Africa of all persons. And unfortunately, the DA is not that platform that will create that. That's why we are launching a new political party for social justice and appreciation of the hardships that many people in this country have gone through. Well, a person sitting there listening to you, let me say a political observer, is going to come out and say, well, it's sour grapes because these black leaders who come from the Democratic Alliance they're happy to sit inside the party and not say these things when it is still hunky-dory inside. It's only when they are pushed out of their positions, like yourself, for example, that you then start making these claims. How do you respond to that? Well, I just took off my glasses. I want you to look me in the eye. <laughs> you know, in 2011... I was almost kicked out of the DA that time already for sentiments that were clear that I shared, which were denouncing the approach that she took at the time, wanting to impose leaders and wanting to undermine democratic processes. And, and I was almost thrown out of the party. So it's not the first time I've been that person that speaks out. 
Mm. I am not a coward. I speak out. I've done so throughout my life in my political career. You will remember, in 2002, I'm the person who brought the DA into black communities in South Africa, in fact, in particular, in the Western Cape. I was the first black councillor in Cape Town. That, that is me not being scared. I'm not a coward. So I spoke against the behavior of Ellen Zille in the DA, and often I've done it internally in the platforms and structures of the organization. But in 2011 in particular, she almost kicked me out because of speaking against her tendencies, which have become worse now after she returned from the retirement, which was an abrupt return. And now you can see, it's not just me who is speaking openly, but others have not been strong enough to speak openly, but I've done so. And I'm saying that in 2011, already I've done that. I've done that. It's on record. If you Google, you'll find my name there and the utterances that I've shared in trying to create a space for democracy within the democratic alliance. But of course, equality. That you must not chase only black leaders when they speak op openly about certain things. Right. You must also chase those leaders who are white in the organization when they do certain things. You will remember here, the reason why, for instance, I was kicked out, it was not the charges that they have alleged, the allegations that they made against me. They kicked me out because they said, no, 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 you insulted us on TV yesterday. Now, imagine what kind of a contradiction. You go publicly with all of these malfeasant, wide-ranging um, lies that you make against somebody. And when you cannot prove any of the wrongdoings, because there was no substance in any case, it was just a, a political witch hunt that they had against me. All right. They were scared of my future in the DA. They were scared of their own positions in the DA. Therefore, the only way was to say, let's kick him in the teeth oh. and let's bury him alive. But God lifted me up because they could not do so. So I, 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 I pray for Naba and many of the black leaders in the DA, and especially those who speak science, who want this South Africa to be a place of all people, black and white, oh. who will see each other as equals in this country, where social justice will be seen and be realized by everybody in this country, young and old. That's important. Master Zolim Masela, let me thank you very much, sir, for your time here.